Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Rosie here. Uh, the video I wanted to make today should be brief. Uh, I just wanted to go over a trend on the uh, Dead by Daylight stats that has finally been broken after a very long time. And that is the fact that uh, the hag is no longer the least picked killer in the game. Uh, this is all ranks. It, it, it's the same at red ranks too. We'll get to that in a second. But uh, I want to go over this because I feel like this is something that uh, has been has been a neglected topic among the community because we like to bash MMR instead for some reason. But we'll, we'll go over this right now. Okay. Now I don't. To be fair, I don't know if the hag was always the least picked killer at all ranks. It could have been the plague to begin with, but. Uh, the plague being the least picked killer in DVD is something that I want to go over because it stands to say that the plague has her own unique set of issues that uh, I feel like are going that, that should be addressed. Okay, so uh, at all ranks, this is very, very blurry, and I understand that, so I will walk you guys through it. Uh, the plague stands to what looks to be a 2.06% pick rate, okay? Which, pick rate and kill rate are all at the bottom, but uh, they're ordered by kill rate, so... Going through the list, there's nobody that, that's higher than that, that's lower than that. Nurse is obviously lower in kill rate because everybody sucks at nurse, but, uh, so there's no need to go over that. That's the obvious reason why, is that people suck with the nurse, but... Plague is not only the least pick, but she has a low kill rate. Okay, now let's, let's all, let's ignore that. Let's head to the red rank. That's what we care about, right? So obviously at the red rank, her kill rate picks up. She, she actually has a better kill rate than the Blight, but here's the thing about the Blight. The Blight's kill rate's gonna go up because the Blight is not only a good character, he has access to the fundamentals as well. So the devs say he might stay with the nurse. I doubt that because he has the access to those fundamentals you could play him as baseline killer with movement, and he could still get to around Pyramid Head Wraith level. But beside the point. So Blight is going to go up, and that will leave Plague and Demo at uh, the two lowest kill rates, which, I mean, obviously, they're both pretty bad. But let's talk about the Plague specifically, because Plague still has the least picks at 2.06 or 8 again, or 2.04 possibly. I can't read that. All I know is that I can't give you the specifics, but the only other character that is that is below 3 is the Hag at 2.65, which hers is actually readable. But I think that I still think that's 2.06 on the Plague. So Plague is picked in about 2% of the matches. Why is that? Because is it something to do with her gameplay? I mean, possibly. She does have an extremely low kill rate compared to the other killers. She only has a 62% kill rate, so she's averaging about 2 or 3 kills every game. So she averages... In an average Plague match, she can't 4K. So... Against a good team, which I mean, red rank says nothing about good team, but like that's beside the point. Uh, so we could go through her issues all day long because she does have issues. She's a weaker. She's a, she's weak. She's weak. I'm just she, like we all know that she's weak. Uh, corrupt purge plague is admittedly good, but like not good enough to justify playing her. I mean, is she good? Yes. I I, I believe at one point I said she was top five. I don't actually think she's that strong because. Corrupt Purge has seen a bit of a nerf with some dumbass hitboxes since I made that statement. So Corrupt Purge Plague is around a, a top 10 threat. So she's not weak when she has corruption, but like she's not horribly broken either. The survivors have a lot of Corrupt Purge counterplay. So, but uh, moving on, I want to talk about Plague's issues specifically that make her the least pick. Because like, you see killers that I think that are weaker than her, like Legion picked higher and with a higher kill rate than she has or who else do i think is weaker demo i think demo is a little weaker than plague maybe i don't know i i flip if i flip flop a clown has a higher kill rate than plague and a higher pick rate like what is it about the plague that is making people not pick her and uh uh bus is passing me i think the reason that you'll never see plague picked too much especially at red rank is the fact that she does not work with the emblem system at all. The way the game wants you to play her and the emblem system absolutely do not work together. There's another. There's some other killers that have this problem. Bubba has this problem. Myers has this problem. But no one has this problem to the extent that Plague has. 
That's why she's not picked much. Also, Bubba and Myers are just fan favorites to the point where no matter what you do to them, they're going to get picked. Because they're Bubba and Myers. Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Halloween. Plague doesn't have that, that fame. And honestly, her, her like, gross out with the vomit, like, like it's not that that bothers me, because it doesn't. And, and like I said, I like the Plague. She's my first, she was my first new character when I started playing, so she holds a special place in my heart. But people don't pick her because of the ranking system. When they made the ranking system and pipping, when they made that harder, it basically butchered the way Plague plays the game. So, for example, okay, her, uh, her, most of her emblems should be fine. So, uh, Gatekeeper should be, should be fine, especially after they helped kill her out. Uh, her hooking, eh, her hooking can be affected by her slug game. But so, so her, she might, she, she is more prone to golds and hooking because she has a good slug game with her corrupt purge. But uh, on a normal game, you probably won't be seeing her hooking score affected that much. The two, the two that get affected really bad are malicious and chaser. Uh, chaser is is the big one here. Chaser is just and, and, and malicious is the one where you like hit people, right? I think that's the one. That, that's what that is. But like when you. When you barf on people and get them fully infected and then hit them, you, that's only being registered as one hit for your emblem. It's the same, it's, it's basically treating that like an instant down, okay? So like that's like, you're not, you're not hitting as many hits as her every single game, which can lead to a lower score in that, in, in the malicious emblem, I believe. Is that how that works? I really think that's how that works, yeah. You, you'll get a lower score in the malicious emblem because you're not doing as, as many hits. And then, uh, when you get corruption, Fat chance on that chaser. The, the, the chaser emblem does not work the way it says. The chaser emblem says you get more points for shorter chases. That is absolutely not how it works. You get more points for longer chases or extended chases. This is a reason reason why Legion is, is like receives like a pipping system buff. Where if you want to pick, the pipping system is more lenient on Legion because you're going to do a lot of chases and a lot of short chases because you're going to be bouncing from person to person. The plague can't really do that. I mean, she can. If you see more than one person, get one infected and move on to the next one. You can do that. But your chaser and your, and your fucking malicious are going to be bad. And again, the hooking can be affected sometimes too. And she's also a weak killer. So, you, so you're more prone to getting gen rush. So all four of her emblems have potentially... Are, are potentially going to get damaged. Okay, like, okay, Legion's a weak killer. But if, if Legion even like gets control of the game, like... He's not going to D-rank. Same thing with Blight. I played Blight and I had bad frames on the Switch yesterday. I, yesterday. I had to reset. I had like two bad games with frames in a row and it was really laggy. I still like downed everybody and stuff. I, I hooked everybody once. But like the point is I didn't D-rank. Even though three got out, I, I still didn't D-rank because I was the Blight. And I had a lot of chases and a lot of hits. Plague doesn't do that. She has a... She has a, has a uh, the way that she, she's designed as a character goes against the emblem system. And this has been an issue of hers for a long time, but I think now it's very clear how big that issue is because a lot of people just straight up aren't picking her. And they're not picking her because I think of I think that more than anything else because she's fun. If you get her working, she's fun. She's weak, she can use some buffs, but the main reason people aren't picking her is because of that emblem system shit. And like that's for that's for real. I really think that. Because if you play as the plague, you are more likely to D rank. Even if you like get a 2K, I had I I, had, I was playing as Plague yesterday on the Switch. Uh, there was a DC, and then the guy got hatch, and I deranked, and I killed the other two. Like just because the way that the system works doesn't hand her out as many points. And it's just a fact, and she doesn't get she doesn't get good scores. So why would you pick her? Where if you had a game as even the Demo Gorgon, or even a worse game as the Demo Gorgon or the Legion, and you still don't derank. Or fuck it, you could. If she, the plague is also a killer. That if she three Ks, she's probably not pipping. Plague has to four K to pip most of the time, and sometimes even that's not good enough if you win too early. What she is capable of doing with her corruption, if if you get a if you have a nice corrupt purge and bad survivors and infectious fright, they're going down, and like you're not pipping that game. So she's like peg, so the plague can like fucking not even pip on a 4k you put in all this work with her and you have a long game you can have long games with her and then a lot of times you just don't get the rewards that you would get if you fucking 2k with legion and you can still pip up sometimes 
Like, that's my point. Why play Plague? Because she's hard as shit. Because she's weak. Well, it's not even that she's hard as shit. She's just weak. She doesn't have a lot of output. And her rankings are... Her emblems are bad. Don't pick Plague. You're wasting your time. So, how do you fix this? Well, first of all, once the, once the MMR system gets in, that'll fix her. Because doing away with the emblem system is something that this game needs desperately. Doing away with the emblem system is good. Good idea. For her. Or... If you don't want to do MMR, if MMR fails again, every killer needs their own special ranking system that, 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 that measures how they play specifically to determine a pip. If you don't want to do MMR, MMR was gonna, would work just fine. But until you see, until you fix that, you're not going to see many players pick the plague. And honestly, she also needs some quality of life. She needs some updates. She needs to get stronger. But... I believe all in all, because, like, look at the clown. The clown's weaker than Plague is, and he has a higher kill rate and a higher pick rate than she does. And so, like, that's obvious. So, like, those reasons obviously aren't factors. Because, wow, clown is bad. Legion's bad. Pig is debatably worse than the Plague, and she's fucking top four at, at red rank. So, like, the, the strength of a killer isn't the number one factor. I'm arguing that the number one factor why people don't play her is the ranks and the emblems. So, you rework her to make her emblems better, and people will play her, I promise. And then her kill rate will probably go up. Because more people playing her means that she'll get picked more. And like I said, more picks equals more kills. I don't know, I still feel like there's a cutoff there, though, because Huntress is the most picked killer in the game, and her kill rate isn't very good. So, I feel like you have to. there's a healthy amount of uh, picks you have to have, because the more scrubs on you, the more times you're losing as well. I don't know, it's, it's hard to analyze stats. And when it's in the when it's the morning, you know, I don't really feel like doing it anyway. But you know, the, the the point is that she needs improvements, and I've highlighted a few here that I think demonstrate why she's not picked very much. So I hope behavior fixes them in the future.